What's up, boys? Take a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. We cashed both of our plays yesterday. If you play that on Prize Picks, you would have won three times your money. But this video applies to Prize Picks, but also other player prop websites out there and also sports books out there. This video is for everyone. We are currently on an 11 4 run after De'Aaron Fox went over 24 and a half points and Jalen Williams went over his 15 and a half points plus rebounds. We're looking to get some more wins under our belt today on this slate today on January 4th. So if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel, have those post notifications on so you do not miss any bumps or anything like that make sure you leave a like on the video let's go ahead it though and hop into the slate but before we do if you are not already on prize picks i recommend joining for a couple of different reasons go ahead and download the prize picks app off the app store and use my code d-o-m-g that will get you a 100 deposit match up to 100 dollars so either look the app up on the app store or use the link down in my description below and you can claim that 100 deposit match up to 100 dollars by far my favorite player prop website out there by far is definitely the best out there i highly recommend joining if you guys have not already and finally the patreon is available we were profit yet again over on the patreon i've had some pretty solid days for sure over on the patreon so link is down in my description below i have over 600 members in there and here's the full breakdown of that patreon if you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays check out the patreon the link is down in the description below there are three different tiers there's nfl nba and all sports with access to the patreon you guys get every single play that i play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that i post once again the link is down in the description below so check it out so again the patreon link is down in my description and below over 600 members got a couple more you guys to join yesterday so seriously i genuinely do appreciate you guys but now let's hop into the slate here we go let's go ahead and take a look here at the two player props that i'm liking for today make sure you subscribe have those postifications on all that different stuff let's start out here with just a normal point prop here we start with a normal point prop here it's going to be down here in the New Orleans Pelican game. And I like Trey Murphy over 14 and a half points. Trey Murphy over 14 and a half points here against the Houston Rockets. But there's a couple different reasons why I do like this proper here. So first, let's talk about the game and why I like this game script and things like that. But make sure you always take a look on your own at these player props. Don't just randomly tail. Always tail at your own risk. But here we go. Let's hop in. This game is at, I believe, 8 o'clock tonight. He's going to be at home in this game without Brandon Ingram and without Zion Williamson. It's going to be a seven point spread in a 229 over under. I love the spot with him here without Zion and without Brandon Ingram. So he's a, he's played only four games this season without both those guys, but without Zion and without Ingram this season, he's, he's hit this in three out of four games with the one loss being with him having 13 points against the Phoenix Suns right here. So he actually just the most recent game he played without both of those guys was against OKC where he had 23 points in 40 minutes. He played 40 minutes last game without Ingram and without Zion and dropped 23 points. So you just need pretty much 15 points this time around. It might have been the game with the Spurs right there. This is just his game log without Zion. For some reason on stat news, you can't pull up the game log without Zion and without Brandon Ingram, but he has it in three out of four games this season without Brandon Ingram and Zion in the same game. So also you have a couple other guys for them that are going to be out in this game for them as well. Like you have got uh, Larry Nance in this one. It'll be out. And again, he's going to be at home going against Houston. Houston is not going to be the easiest matchup, I'd say. However, I do still like the matchup, and I think he, he can get this one done, man. So Houston is actually pretty solid at stopping the shooting guard. They're allowing 22.46 points per game to the shooting guard so far this season. And they're actually even better in the last seven games, allowing only 17.74 points per game to the shooting guard. So Jalen Green has been playing some pretty solid defense recently, but I do think that he can still go over his point prop here. I love the volume, the volume that he should be getting. I love his minutes that he got, especially last game without both of those guys. Played 40 minutes against OKC, so hopefully he gets those same numbers again. And I think he, he can go over his points right here and drop 15 on the Houston Rockets. If you are on a sports book, let's take out the odds right here and see what I like for the odds on uh, for those sports book guys out there. So let's hop over to the Pelicans game right here and the points, and let's scroll down a little bit here too. Where is he at? Where's Trey Murphy? Did I skip him? I did. He's the first one. So he's actually a minus 128, minus 140, minus 120. He's at 15 and a half on some sites. I like him at 14 and a half. I don't want to push it up to 15 and a half. I think minus 140 is maybe a little bit much, but I love the spot. I like minus 120, minus 128. I think those are pretty good prices in my opinion for Trey Murphy. I like it right there, but I'm playing him on prize picks over 14 and a half points. It possibly will bump soon with him being at minus 140 on DK. There's a shot that Trey Murphy does bump to 15 or 15.5 on prize picks. So make sure you either subscribe to Patreon if you want to get those plays extra early or just have the post notifications on for these videos. So you guys can go ahead and check out these props before they do bump. So also take a look over on my Twitter. I still have one more prop I'll talk about in today's video, but I will, I'm planning on posting more to my Twitter and posting props over my Twitter. Maybe I'll give you guys some bonus plays that will not appear in these YouTube videos. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, uh, my Twitter is DUMG props. There also should be a link down in my description below. If I'm not wrong, you guys just got me to 1000 followers, which is seriously insane. Seriously do appreciate you guys. I'm 
plan on posting on there a little bit more. But diving into the second player prop here, this is actually going to be a first half player prop. This does still apply to sports books, and I'll explain why in a second here. But another beautiful thing about prize picks is their first half category. There's first half points, there's first half PRA, and there's even first half fantasy score. Uh, for the NBA. And there's a lot of value on this first half board. I'm telling you guys, there usually always is. We're going to go ahead and dive into a point prop here. And I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here to the 730 game today. And I'm actually going to go with Jalen Brunson over 11 and a half first half points. There will be no RJ Barrett in this game. Brunson has been injured a little bit, but we also potentially have no Obi Toppin and no Derrick Rose in this one, but no RJ Barrett in this one, man. So no RJ Barrett is a huge help to this right here. And part of the reason why I'm playing his first half points here is because of the massive blowout potential in this game. It is a nine and a half point spread. There's definitely potential for a blowout in this one. And if it does blow out, he'll probably get a lot of work in the first half. And he's only played one game without RJ Barrett so far this season. And that was against the Phoenix Suns. He dropped 16 points on them, which was literally just last game. He didn't shoot great or anything like that either. He shot 55.6% on five for nine. So he had four three throws made on seven attempts. So he even shot really bad when it came to his when it came to his free throws. But he had 21 minutes without HR without RJ Barrett last game in the first half. 21 first half minutes. So I think he can go ahead and get us 12 again here in the first half. I know Jalen Brunson's on a lot of guys' ban list. He hasn't really sold me too much this year. He sold me a couple times, but I like Jalen Brunson a little bit, and I think that he can hopefully get this one done. I do like him at, by the way, 23 and a half points full game. I also like his uh, PRA for full game. I like his first half PRA. I love PRA points, everything today. And I do like it again for the full game. However, the blowout potential, man, it's really, really scary. I try as much as I can to stay away from those blowout potential games, which is why I'm kind of running with the first half right here at 11 and a half points for Jalen Brunson against the Spurs today. And the Spurs really should not be a tough matchup. Take a look at the point guard and how many points they're allowing. They're like 25.12 points per game right there. Uh, I believe that's like the 10th most ish. Uh, points per game to the point guard allowed so far this season. Take a look last seven games, relying the second most, allowing 31.49 points per game to the point guard in the last seven games. So we've been getting destroyed by the point guard pretty recently. That's going to be my favorite of the day, at least for these videos. I don't know what I'm going to have later today, but right now my favorite is Jalen Brunson over 11 and a half first half points. So those are my two player props in today's video. I like Jalen Brunson over 11 and a half first half points and Trey Murphy over 14 and a half full game points. So we're currently on an 11 and four run. I'm hoping that we can make this one a 13 and four run. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Again, the Patreon link is down in my description below. If you want to see everything that I am playing tonight, we were profit again yesterday. I've had a pretty damn good start to 2023. But again, you can join prize picks. If you want to get in like those first half player props and things like that, you can get a 100% deposit match up to $100 when you do use my code DOMG when you go ahead and sign up for prize picks. So link is down in my description for that. Download, download the app off the app store, all the different stuff. And thank you guys for watching. Best of luck tonight and tell it your own risk. Hopefully wake up to a 13 and four run tomorrow.